phrases and clauses. Now let's try to understand what is called phrases and what is clauses. Phrases is a group of words that does not make a complete sense and does not contain a finite verb expressed or understood but is used as a single parts of speech. So what does it mean? Let us see. Come at once. Come at once. Come is an order by which we can give the order. Come at once. So this is the part means just now, immediately. So what has to be done? Then and let us take another look. I know that he is ill. I know that he is ill. Now in this case, I know is one part and that he is ill. This is another part. The second part he is ill is a complete sentence but this part is also a part of this whole sentence. So in this particular cases what I say I know is one part which is also a phrase he is ill this is also this is here in the particular cases it is called clause here in this it's called a clause so what is a clause clause is a small sentence which is a part of a big sentence clause is a small sentence part of a big sentence so that is clause let us take another example he came to see me to see me he came conveys the meaning he came means eshe chilo she eshe chilo for what purpose to see me so this is another thing which is called a phrase group of words put together is becoming a phrase he came the purpose was to see me so this is these are the part which is called phrase and this is a complete sentence now let us come to here i have told you what is called clause clause is a small sentence part of a big sentence is a clause okay let us take another example the boy who did it is my brother the boy who did it is my brother sorry here the boy who did it who did it is one part is also a clause is my brother uh, this is completing the, the boy who is that boy who is that boy he is my brother he did something so who who's ever done this he is my brother so my brother becomes a phrase the boy becomes a phrase in this particular case, case it is his ill small sentence a complete sentence it has got a subject it has got what is the word ill adjective and this becomes a complete sentence and since this is small sentence a part of a big sentence so this becomes a clause and this it is my brother now here what what did he understand the boy who came to me or who did this job is my brother <clears throat> i went after he had gone 
after he had gone means what i went when after he had gone he had become he had gone is a clause which is a part of the whole sentence here i went becomes a phrase he had gone becomes a clause so these are the examples of phrases and clauses next let us see how many types of phrases phrases of many kinds now parts of speech we know what are the things parts of speech what do you understand by the word as parts of speech parts of speech and the parts of a sentence and we have divided them into what are the things noun pronoun verb adverb adjective then preposition conjunction and we have interjection in the parts of speech we know parts of speech speech means what whatever we say whatever we speak is a speech that's kind of that's nothing but sentence grammatically we write a sentence so it becomes sentence is speech whatever we are speaking and the components of this sentence is noun pronoun verb adverb adjective preposition conjunction interjection therefore along with this line the phrases are also noun phrase pronoun phrase verb phrase adverb phrase adjective phrase preposition phrase conjunction phrase and interjection phrase so these are the different kinds of phrases now let us see the noun phrase noun phrase noun phrase means something with the name noun means naming words so what will be the noun phrase noun phrase will be what could be river side bedside what it could be how can you this uh, make sentence with this i have been walking on the by the river side i have been walking by the river side so this is how can it is bedside beside my bed i have a small tool on my bedside at my bedside so this is your noun and pronoun means whatever is used in relation to or instead of noun is called pronoun whatever is used in place of noun is pronoun so in this case what it to be he is the boy who is my brother
hear the word he he is the boy he comes the sentence and here i am using he that is a pronoun instead of the name my brother so here this sentence indicates that this is a example of pronoun phrase then comes the adjective phrase adjective means qualifying the what qualities of noun good or bad <coughs> ram is a good boy so what is the phrase good boy who is a good boy ram is a good boy the good boy is the adjective phrase then verb adverb we go to adverb straight away adverb adverb means which is qualifying the qualities of a verb qualities of a verb is done by the adverb what it is i am speaking slowly speaking is the word which is called verb and how i am speaking slowly speaking slowly becomes the phrase which is called the adverb phrase adverbial phrase adverbial phrase understood next comes prepositional phrase preposition what does it mean preposition means anything which falls before something preposition prepositional phrase what do you understand by preposition Prepos prepositions are the words which are used which are put in front of certain words to make the meaning meaningful he stood in front of me means what he stood where he stood in front in is the word in front of me he stood on the table on another preposition so these are the words which are put before certain words that's why it is called pre position position is the place pre means before that so that is called preposition prepositional phrase conjunction what do you understand by conjunction 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 junction means what a place where two things are joined together junction 
we have uh, heard about the words Barashat Junction or any other stations where more than one or more than two lines are two more than one line is uh, meeting at that particular place is called a place in railways as a junction. So similar in this can conjunction. Conjunction. So what is the what are the words which are uh, used for conjunction and is one of the key. Then what else? As soon as as fast as what does it mean as soon as as quickly as possible as fast as in similar meaning so these are the conjunctions he had no sooner he had left the place than the fire broke out no sooner He had left the place the fire broke out no sooner as soon as he left the place then the fire broke out. So these are the two, two occasions. In this case, no scenario is one of the things. The interjection phrase is, what are the things? Interjection uh, means injecting something in between. All of a sudden it comes out of uh, our mind. Ah, alas, oh my God, these are the things. Ah, alas, oh my god, how beautiful, this kind of exclamations, how beautiful, what nasty, These are the interjecting interjection word, and there are many more like this. And the phrases that we may have asked, oh my god, he left us, he is no more. Means okay, okay. So interjection. Interjection, ah, oh my god, how beautiful, think words like this which are coming out of our mind as exclamatory, all of a sudden I, uh, example, ah, or oh my god he is no more what does it mean oh my god ah. all of a sudden the word comes out of my mind and i say hearing the news he is no more he has died with this all of a sudden the word from my mind comes oh my god he was so young of not much age normally old age old people die but a young boy young man dying is no more seeing this or hearing this news i all of a sudden comes out of my mouth is oh my god so this is exclamatory interjection so with this the phrase part is complete Next session we'll discuss about clauses. Okay? Bye.